Hello and welcome to Night Hunter Books. Today we thought we'd do something a bit different and just recommend a couple of books to each other. Um, we've thought of this when you started reading actually a book I recommended you ages ago. About 18 months ago Bex recommended that I read The Gargoyle by Andrew Davidson and I've I'm about 100 pages in. I started yesterday. We found that because we're both quite bookish we recommend each other tons of books so we thought this was a chance to actually just focus in on a couple that we really want the other person to read and then in six months we can check in and see if uh, how we've got on. Yeah. The first one I'm going to recommend to you mm -hmm. is Sabriel by Garth Nix which is quite an old book, it's actually from the 90s but you know it stood the test of time. It's Originally, so how long, how recently have you reread it to know that it stands the test of time? 2003 and 2005, but it's still in publication. Right, okay, yeah, fair enough. Originally this was part of a trilogy, but actually there's been a few more released more recently, so I need to reread this just so that I can read the later ones. It follows a, I say a young girl, but actually she's 18, so, mm -hmm. um, so this is probably considered a YA. Yeah. book and the premise is that she lives in a boarding school on the outside of the old kingdom so her so where she lives everything is pretty much normal but where her father is there is magic and necromancy and then her father goes missing and she knows that she needs to try and work out what's happened to him and she ends up getting kind of hunted and followed by some dark people and I really love the magic system in this, like it is mm -hmm. necromancy and zombies and that sort of thing um, but it's quite well thought out, there's different kind of stages of death and that sort of thing and you can rescue people from death but not if they've gone too far into death and it, it's... Uh, yeah I really love the main character and mm -hmm. having seen a few reviews today the main character definitely stands stands up still today. Like, Sabriel totally knows what she's doing, she's really intelligent and drives the plot herself. Yeah. I think there is also quite a lot of humour, um, I think there is a talking cat, I might be wrong, and some elements of romance as well, so a bit of everything. Yep. You should read it. Okay. My first one. I'm amazed you're allowed to be on booktube and not have read this. Um, the Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine Valenti. It's lyrical and it's beautiful and the writing is just has a, a wonderful rhythm to it. To some extent it begs to be read to somebody. You know, it, it very much feels like somebody talking to you. Mm. Um, it is about a young girl called September who gets whisked away to fairyland um, and there has many adventures, meets some friends and there's a, a wyvery who's a cross between a wyvern and a library um, and it's very knowing, it, it, it's aware that it's a story and that you're reading and um, it's part of a series of, I think, five books, and they just keep going and keep getting better, and they're, they're wonderful and lovely. I think this one I may have to read actually quite soon, so we're getting married next year, and I think we might have one of our tables named after this book, so... <laughs> That's a good reason. <laughs> Let's hope the name fits on the label. <laughs> True. The second one I'm going to suggest you read is Kindred by Octavia Butler. Octavia Butler is such an influential author in science fiction, so I think you should read some of her work anyway. She's uh, one of the earlier black science fiction writers, so it had quite a strong impact on the genre. This book is her most popular. I'm not sure this is a very science fiction-y science fiction. It follows Dana, who time travels back to 1815 from 1970s so this is written in the 1970s yeah it doesn't read like it this could have been written last year you wouldn't have noticed yeah um unfortunately she's black and 1815 america wasn't a good time to be black so this deals with uh slavery and race and really focuses in on those issues 
but brings a really interesting perspective of a modern day woman. Mm. She gets pulled back to save a young boy's life who gradually gets older as she keeps going back to save his life. And this boy is despicable, really. So <laughs> it's a difficult book to read in some ways. It's definitely blunt with the truth, yeah. but still incredibly readable. And I loved reading from the main character's point of view. You should definitely pick it up. Okay. Powerful we'll book. Again, a uh, fairly new one, Traitor by Seth Dickinson. Um, I think it's known as the tra uh, Traitor Baru Cormorant in America. It's fancy for nerds. So if you've ever read fancy and gone, but that's ridiculous. They've just bought, a, you know, a metric ton of gold back to the town. That's going to crash the economy. That's ridiculous. This features a young woman, is the main character, who grows up with her mother and two fathers and her home gets conquered by a trading federation who basically destroy the island and then come in to help. Oh, but either way you have to live how we live and, you know, only have two parents to a family and they have to be different sexes and, um, just change everything and she joins up she wants to destroy them from within and to keep on progressing further and further up this government she has to keep chiseling bits off her heart it's just it's really difficult to read in places as she just slowly destroys things she loves so that she can get in a position to destroy the things she hates. That uh, sounds more political than your standard epic fantasy. Yes. Like, really. Yeah, political. and it's um, the, the economy and the politics of the fantasy world are much more uh, rigorously depicted than they are in a lot of fantasies. I like good world building, so... Yeah. All good fun. So, if you would like to uh, lend extra weight or extra reasons to any of those recommendations, do pipe up below and uh, we'll let you know how we get on. Yeah. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.